Harmonic patterns are among the most accurate trading signals, yet they're widely underutilized. This is because they can be difficult to spot and tedious to validate. But the indicator I'm about to show you in this video will solve all of these problems. This tool will automatically spot the best harmonic patterns in the price action and evaluate them so that you can easily differentiate weak patterns from strong ones. I will also give you the best trading strategy with this indicator that you can easily follow and make good and consistent profits. Now without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we're currently looking at the price of GBP versus JPY on the five minute time frame. By the way, this indicator works on a lot of other time frames as well. So in order to apply it, we need to come up here to our indicators tab and type in harmonic pattern detection, prediction and backtesting, which is this one by Rees. So right away, we can see that the indicator looks quite fascinating. What it basically does is searches for different harmonic patterns in the price action. And once the pattern has been identified, the indicator makes a prediction. It basically gives you different price targets and these targets can be used for take profit. It also prints a label which tells you which pattern this is and it gives you a percentage based score which is calculated from four components. First one is the retracement percentage accuracy. This measures how closely the pattern's retracement ratios match the theoretical values defined for a given harmonic pattern. The second component is the potential reversal zone level confluence. This component measures the closeness of the closest XA and BC retracement levels relevant to the total height of the potential reversal zone. The third component is the point D. This measures the closeness of point D to either of the closest two PRZ levels relative to the total height of the PRZ. The last component is the leg length symmetry. The closer this number is to 100, the better the odds that the prediction will be right. The indicator also comes with a table. This is basically a back tester that shows you how accurate these patterns are. If we take a quick look at these numbers, we can see that in first place, we've got a crab with 100% accuracy. In second place, we've got this G pattern, which has a 57% success rate. Then in third place, we've got our butterfly at a 54% success rate. Although these lines on this table looks very cool, we're going to have to get rid of them because the chart looks super messy. So if we double click on this, we come across to our style section, we're going to be removing everything but our labels. Okay, now let's move on to our trading rules so that you know exactly how to enter these trades based on this strategy. So here are the conditions for entering a short trade. First, the indicator must spot a price pattern. Second, the label must be printed above our price action. The color of the label does not matter. As long as it is above the price action, this is a signal to sell. Third, the number on the label must be 90% or above. If this number is below 90%, we simply do not take the trade. For our final condition, we will be placing our short entry on the close of this trigger candlestick, and if our next candlestick manages to fill it, then our trade will be active. So we see that we actually got filled on the next candle and we are in a short position. We will be setting our stop loss just above our most recent swing high. If the price action moves in our favor and reaches the risk to reward ratio of one to one, we're then going to have to move our stop loss to break even. And now every time the price action reaches a new risk to reward ratio, which is two to one, three to one, and so on, we're going to have to move our stop loss to the previous target. This means that the distance between the current price and the stop loss is exactly one risk to reward. Okay, we see that the price action reached our second take profit target. So our stop loss is going to be set at our target one. You basically just keep adjusting your stop loss like this until it gets triggered. In this example, we got triggered after our second target, so we would have returned one to one risk to reward ratio. So we still close this trade in some really nice profits. Okay, here is another example for a short entry. We see the indicator identified a back pattern. The accuracy is 96%, which is really high. So we would be placing a limit short order on the close of this trigger candlestick, hoping that the next candle can fill us. We see that we did get filled on our next candlestick. We'd then be bringing our stop loss there up towards our most recent swing high. We're then going to be using the same money management strategy in the previous example. So 
So once again, after hitting our second target, we managed to move our stop losses up to our first target and get stopped out in a nice profit. Now let's understand the rules for entering a long trade. First, the indicator must print a label below the price action and the number on the label must be above 90%. If it is lower than 90%, then we do not take the trade. So we would be placing a limit long on the close of this trigger candlestick and then waiting for the next candlestick to fill us. So as we can see, we managed to get filled on our next candlestick. So we would be bringing our stop loss there down just below that previous swing low. And once again, we are using the same money management strategy as before. Once we manage to hit our first take profit target, we will move our stop loss to our break even level and then be looking for a two to one risk to reward ratio. So we managed to hit our second take profit target. We'd then be moving our stop loss up again to our first risk to reward ratio. So as we see in this candle, we actually managed to hit six risk to reward ratio. So we would be moving our stops up to our fifth target. Okay, our stop loss eventually got triggered and our profit on this trade was six times the risk. Okay, let me give you one more long example before we move on to the back testing. Here we see that the indicator spotted a shark pattern and its accuracy is over 97%. We then place our buy limit order on the close of this trigger candlestick and wait for our next one to fill. And we see that we actually got filled on our next candle so we'd be bringing our stop loss there towards our most recent swing low and once again using the same money management strategy as before so in this example we managed to have another successful trade that actually returned us five times the risk also notice how well this indicator gave us a signal to buy at the very bottom so yeah, this indicator is definitely very good. So let's actually backtest it 100 times to find its true win rate. Okay, the back testing is complete and now here are the results. Okay, so after 100 trades, the win rate for this strategy turned out to be 74%. This win rate is actually really impressive for a single indicator. And because we had this amazing money management in place, the strategy increased our account size by over 1400%. By the way, I did actually manage to find those 100 setups within four months. The profit factor for this strategy was 6.48. The largest profit trade we actually took increased our account size by 24%. We also had 12 consecutive wins against three consecutive losses. And our max drawdown for this strategy was 3.23%. Keep in mind that this is only the backtesting. These results will differ when trading live due to spreads and fees. But I do think this strategy is really good. You can definitely make yourself a lot of money with this if you do manage your risk correctly. If you have any questions, please ask them down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.